So yeah, some of them, it, and, and they ebb and flow depending on the sort of um, the pressure, outside pressure, or what's, what's actually happening on the ground. Um, mm -hmm. For example, um, we hadn't really done a lot around seeds. We've done a lot of food work um, around creating, um, uh, creating the Cottage Food Act in California, which allows people to um, make certain foods at home and sell it to market. Before, you needed a commercial kitchen, and you needed a lot of, uh, you know, you needed the health department and those types of things. It comes back to those legal barriers, yeah. back to those legal barriers, yeah. right? And, every, every point mm -hmm. has got legal barriers to it. Okay. Yeah, and, yeah. and so we... Um, we wrote this law, and it, it came. It was passed in the California legislature, and um, in its first year, it created over 2,000 new jobs. So, micro enterprises where people are making, you know, wow. things from granola to um, to jams and jellies to sweets at home, and and you know, selling at a farmers market or to to local um, stores and those types of things. And it's and it really is breaking down those barriers to to people that really have different types of livelihoods and have more control over. How how they can have a have a livelihood that they respect. Is so. is this is this uh, project this kind of project? Mm -hmm. Is it being replicated in other other areas? Yeah, uh, well, it's it's um, being replicated. So right now, Hawaii is trying to do um, a cottage food act, and they're talking with us to um, understand how did we get enough popular support and political support to pass it, and what have we learned from the the process ourselves, and what would we have done differently, and so. We're working with Hawaii, but not only is it being replicated, it's still being administered at the sort of at the um, county level. So mm -hmm. it's um, so different places in California are have have received this law and said, okay, now it's our um, it's under our authority to administer. We can it. move on it. And so some some um, like some counties are more afraid of uh, home-based food businesses than others, and so they're manipulating the law to stop people from like starting these businesses and what we have to do is come in and, and advocate for people and say no this is what the intention of the law okay. is allow for people okay. to but anyway so we've done a lot of work in in the food realm and and uh this year um or actually starting last year there's um seed libraries so public libraries around the country have started having seed swaps and um a seed storage spaces for communities to exchange seeds and um in most states there are seed laws on the books, and they're made for commercial, large commercial right, seed right, distributors right. like Monsanto and right, that type of right. thing. And so last year, those laws were being applied to the seed libraries, and seed libraries were being shut down across the country. And so we were able, because we're so nimble and we have a certain um, internal structure that allows us to do this at our organization, but that somebody heard about it and they just started taking action and now we have a seed campaign with over 8,000 signatures to change the laws to allow for seed libraries around the country to exist and to flourish. So, yeah. I want to come back to the thing about the internal organization that allows for mm -hmm. this kind of initiative. Yeah. Uh, I had met when I asked about replicable uh, being replicated, I, what I really meant was the uh, the whole organization, mm -hmm. the whole concept of the CELC, mm -hmm. a law center that is really oriented towards social and economic justice. Yeah. Is that, is, are, there, are there other uh, organizations like that across the country, or what's the... Yeah, there, there are a lot of nonprofit law centers that are doing some type of um, social justice work. There's... Um, East Bay Community Law Center here in Berkeley that does that we collaborate a lot with um, with our cooperatives programming. Um, there's the lawyers for um, I forget the their name off the top of my head, but okay. yeah, for civil rights and um, people back east that we've met um, all around the country. There's there's law centers that do um, this type of work, but they're really constrained a lot of times because they have missions that that solely make. Um, allow them to focus on one particular Silo. issue. Yeah, and they get siloed off and they're not allowed or able to really right. innovate and, and change and expand their programming where it's most needed So this, this is what I was thinking about, yeah. about the, the replication. You guys aren't siloed. No. You're seeing all the intersections. You want to work, yeah. work with yeah. them. And we're making, okay. yeah, we have collaborative right. relationships with a lot of organizations and, um, yeah, so. Okay. so I had asked you to bring a picture of your organizational structure, and you forgot. And I forgot. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Basically, most organizational structures are boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes spinning off of boxes, yeah. and the self-organizational structure is circles. There's 
the large circle of the community, is the large circle of the board, and then with them is the self general uh, circle, which is where all the projects and stuff are, are happening. Mm -hmm. One circle within that inner circle is uh, is the operation circle, and another is the program circle, and then there are groups within each one of those. Mm -hmm. So this is like you belong to like the seed group who mm -hmm. took this initiative yep. or a food group. Yep. They're one of about eight or nine subgroups, mm -hmm. and then but they are part of an overarching group, mm -hmm. which is part of an over, overarching group. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. and and you and the term that you used for it was distributed authority, yeah. organizational structure. Yeah, yeah. So what's it? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, our organizational model is based off of holacracy, which is based off of sociocracy and a lot of other previous um, models where you have um, distributed authority within the organization, um, but that there's intentional structure um, and Distributed feedback. authority. Yeah. What, what is, is that delegation or is that something? Well, um, yeah, so each, we, how it works at um, SELC is that we have our overall mission of providing um, legal education, advice, advocacy, and uh, doing legal research for just and resilient local economies. So that's our overarching mission. And so each program fulfills that mission in some way, but has its own mission. So for the cooperatives program, um, most of the work that we've been doing is around worker cooperatives. And so how do worker cooperatives fulfill the larger mission of the organization? Um, and so how do we incorporate education? How do we do legal advice? Um, what type of research is needed around uh, cooperatives? Um, and what type of education? And so um, that's... So if, if I was part of, the, of that cooperative thing, we mm -hmm. came up with stuff we wanted yep. to do, yep. we come to the, uh, uh, the programs, the larger program circle, mm -hmm. and then... Well, it, um, what Holacracy is based off of is that it's not a permission-based uh, organizational structure. It's that um, you have the authority to fulfill your mission in whatever way um, that you deem fit. Okay. And so you, the, so there's feedback loops so that there's constant um, feedback from the rest of the organization if they want to give feedback. But uh, really, the only time that anybody can stop something from moving forward is if there's um, if they believe that that particular project or um, program is going to move the organization back in its mission. Okay, so, so, so ba mm -hmm. basically, you're saying you guys have responsibility for this area. Mm -hmm. Since you have responsibility, we're going to make sure you have the authority to act. Yeah, yeah. And if anyone outside of that or within it has a problem with what you're actually doing, because mm -hmm. it's a threat to the mission of the whole mm -hmm. of the whole body, mm -hmm. it's like you're an organ of. Yeah. You know, if you're you know if your liver is not functioning <laughs> to help the whole body, yeah. something's got to intervene. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's a very it's it, it, I'm hearing it's an organic mm -hmm. structure. Yeah, very or much so. as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, and okay. so yeah, the authority is vested as close to the work as possible. Okay. So, right. for example, with this Worker Co-op Academy, this wasn't an initiative that the rest of the organization said we need a twelve-week business accelerator course. So, Ricardo, like, do it. You know, mm -hmm. it was something where there was a grant um, application that was coming that was for innovative projects to raise the median income for low and moderate um, in, uh, income individuals in, in the Bay Area. I was able to, um, I was already in talks with the uh, two other organizations about some longer term sustained um, education and training program for worker cooperatives. And so when these two, you know, opportunities met, uh, or yeah, when these two things met, then I was able to just start moving forward without having to ask permission of the rest wow. of the organization. Wow. So, and once I did start moving forward, I we have a meeting um, every other week around our program work. So I inform them what I'm doing and let them know that this is happening, but I don't have to ask permission. I have the authority to, to move the mission, the organization forward in, right. in the way that I see fit within that program circle, so. So some of you have been wondering, I thought you were gonna talk about corporate education. When are you gonna get to it? Well, we're we're on our way there. Mm -hmm. I but. I just want to make a comment is that in the uh, the intentional community that I'm that I'm part of, mm -hmm. Ghana's in Staten Island, New York, plug plug. Um, the we have a, a, a very similar 
a, a type of a distributed authority. Mm -hmm. There is a, a, a collective group that does the, uh, the, the governing, and uh, each area of work, like a store or maintenance or, or housing or finance, has a manager, and that manager is mm -hmm. responsible for making the decisions in that area. Mm -hmm. 